please use a damp cloth to lightly wipe the wall whilst taking care not to wash the paint off, as the paint may be washed off if you apply too much pressure. The internal doors in your home can be cleaned with a clean, damp cloth. If your door has a paint finish, please lightly wipe the affected area whilst taking care not to wash the paint off. If you choose to fit carpet, we recommend the use of carpet grippers to hold your carpets down. If you use tacks, please do not use long tacks or nails longer than 20 millimetres or three quarters of an inch, as they may pierce pipework or electrical cables which are under the floorboards. If you damage any pipework or electrical cables, you will be liable for any cost to repair the damage caused. Never glue or bond the carpet, vinyl or underlay directly to the floor. 15 to 20 millimetres has been allowed for floor coverings. If you lay flooring that is in excess of this, then it may result in problems opening and closing your doors. Wall fixings. The ceilings in your home are made of plasterboard sheets. The walls in your home are finished with plasterboard. Therefore, you should use plasterboard plug or toggle type fixings. Please do not put any fixings directly above or below light switches or sockets. Always leave a space of at least 45 millimetres or 1.7 inches horizontally. This is because electrical cables are installed either above or below light switches and sockets and any fixings placed there may damage the cables. The flow and return heating pipework in your home drops from the ceiling down the walls and connects to the radiators. Therefore, please take care not to pierce the walls directly above radiators as you may damage the pipework. You should not store anything in the ceiling void above your plasterboard ceilings and do not form any new hatches in the ceiling. Your ceiling provides fire protection to your property and should not be disturbed in any way. Newly built properties need to be taken care of, so in the first year after moving in, there are some things that you will have to do to make sure that your new home is looked after. When people move into new homes and start using the heating, the heat affects the timber and the other materials that were used to build the property. This drying out process can cause small cracks to appear on walls, ceilings, around windows and on woodwork. These cracks are perfectly normal, however we would recommend that you try and reduce the likelihood of cracks appearing by keeping your home at a consistent room temperature, even in the rooms that you do not use. If you have moved into the property in the colder months, you should try to keep the room temperature at a low but adequate consistent level, as you do not want to dry out the property too quickly. Your property can take several months to fully dry out. While your home dries out, it will produce moisture. To make sure the moisture can get out of your home, we recommend that whilst you are in, you open windows as often as possible. This will allow your house to breathe. We also recommend that you leave the trickle vents open for as long as you can each day. Use the extractor fans fitted in the kitchen and bathrooms. Condensation. Condensation can occur in newly built homes. This is because some building materials contain moisture and as the materials dry out, water vapour is released into the air. New homes are designed to keep the heat in. However, this in turn means that water vapour finds it hard to escape, which increases the risk of condensation. Normal day-to-day -day activities can increase the amount of water vapour that is released. It is important to adequately ventilate your home. If warm air cannot escape out a window or an air vent, it will move around your home until it finds a cold surface where it cools down and forms condensation. We advise that you keep your home at a low but adequate consistent temperature as fluctuating temperatures will increase the chance of condensation occurring. The Energy Saving Trust recommends from 18 to 21 degrees Celsius. Continuous heat keeps all your surfaces warm which reduces the risk of condensation. It is more likely to see condensation on colder parts of your home, such as around window openings. You will also see condensation in areas where air circulation is restricted, such as cupboards and outside walls, which has furniture against it. The low energy fans are designed to run continuously to prevent condensation. The isolation switches for the fans can be located at a high level outside the room. Smoke alarm. We have provided smoke and heat detectors where appropriate in your home. All detectors are hardwired into your home with a battery backup. We recommend that you test these on a weekly basis by pressing the test button. If the detector identifies there is smoke or heat in the area, it will make a loud alarm sound. Common fire alarm system. A 
common fire alarm system is fitted within all the communal corridors, lift lobbies, stair cores and bin store areas. This will activate upon detection of smoke or fire within any of these areas. A siren will ring throughout all floors of your block. This will be audible through your front door of your flat. A fire detection system is also fitted within the Undercroft car parking area. If the system is activated, then audible siren will sound within both adjoining flatted blocks on all levels. A carbon dioxide detector is fitted within your home located in the main bedroom and is mains operated. Carbon dioxide is present in the external air we breathe at concentration levels of 400 parts per million and is not harmful to health at low concentration levels. However, as people release carbon dioxide into the air when they exhale. Increased levels of carbon dioxide in occupied buildings can occur. Your carbon dioxide monitor will indicate if carbon dioxide levels are too high, allowing you to increase ventilation by opening windows or trickle vents. Door closers. You have fire doors in your flat. Some of your internal doors may have jam mounted concealed door closers. Not all internal doors are fire doors, for example, the bathroom door. These self-closing devices must be able to close the door reliably from any angle to which it has been opened. Never remove or disconnect a door closer on a fire door or wedge open the fire doors. This could be a danger to you and others by preventing the door closing in the event of a fire. Front doors. Entrance doors to a block of flats must not be wedged open. If doors are jammed open, then the opening mechanism within the entrance door will become damaged. If the doors are left open, the safety and security of the properties will be become compromised. Never place stones at close entry doors to prevent them closing. They have a magnetic lock and this will cause the lock to burn out and lead to a costly repair. Your front door has a spy hole, security chain and letterbox. All entrance doors are fitted with three-point locking systems for added security. To engage the three-point system, you raise the handle and lock the door. You have a thumb turn lock on your flat entry door. This type of lock does not require a key internally and is designed to enable a quick escape in the event of a fire or emergency. Sure stop valve. Your new home is fitted with a sure stop valve, which will allow you to turn off the water supply at the click of a switch. Your sure stop valve is located in your hall cupboard. Your electricity meter is located in your hall cupboard. Next to the meter is a modern fuse box, now called a consumer unit. This unit has a hinged lid that can be opened to see the individual circuit breakers. Each switch is labelled. The main red switch turns all of the electric circuits on or off. The miniature circuit breakers are the smallest switches. Each switch carries a different circuit, the name of which is written above or below the switch, for example, kitchen sockets. The earth leakage circuit breaker, ELCB or RCB, is the large switch with blue test button. This will switch off the power circuits if an earth fault develops. Solar PV panels are installed on the communal roof that will generate electricity for the landlord areas only. All solar PV panels are connected directly to the communal areas of the building to provide free electricity during daylight hours. This will help reduce the running costs associated with the lifts, lighting and plant facilities. TV and phone points. Your new home is capable of receiving the standard digital terrestrial TV service free view channels. There is also a satellite dish installed that will allow you to access more channels if you purchase a satellite system box. SkyQ Sky Plus cabling has been provided within your home. You have a satellite and TV aerial port in the living room. There is a phone point in your hall cupboard to connect your broadband router plus phone points in your living room and main bedroom. Central heating and hot water. You have a communal heating system installed within your property. This means there is a central boiler room which pumps hot water through pipes to each property. There are individual smart meters in each property that measure the heating and hot water used. An inspection and service of your HIU or heat interface unit require to be carried out annually. Bathrooms. To fill your bath, push down the plug and turn the top tap anti-clockwise to start the water. The bottom tap controls the water temperature. Anti-clockwise for hot and clockwise for cold. Your bathroom door has a small thumb turn lock beneath the handle on the inside of the room allowing you to lock the door for privacy. If someone gets locked in the room the lock can be released from the outside by inserting a coin or screwdriver into the slit in the centre of the fitting on the outside of the door and turning it anti-clockwise. 
The isolation switch for the fan is located at a high level outside the room. The room has access panels to allow access to the soil vent pipe. The bath panel is completely removable. The panels should not be covered so that in the case of an emergency, a tradesman can inspect and repair problems quickly. Kitchen. Your kitchen has been fitted with high quality kitchen units, an integrated electric cooker and hob. It is your responsibility to register the warranties and guarantees for these appliances. There is a cooker, washing machine, fridge freezer, etc. provided. Please refer to the kitchen care and maintenance contained within the information pack. Balconies. Your flat may have a balcony. It is considered a fire hazard to operate barbecues and to store gas cylinders on your balcony. Please do not do this so under any circumstances. Information relating to the maintenance and care of the cladding on your balcony can be found in your new home manual. Your balcony floor is finished with a decking product called Millboard, which is a composite wood-free decking system. Spills or marks can be removed simply with the help of a mild detergent and a yard brush. There is no need for solvents, chemicals and abrasive cleaners that could damage your millboard decking. Finished with a gentle wash down, there is no need for pressure washing. Bin Collections There is a bin store located internally at ground level within your block of flats. Please use the bins appropriately and do not store rubbish out with the relevant bins. Do not smoke in the bin store. All bins will be emptied by waste disposal staff from your local council on a specific date. To open your tilt and turn windows, open the upper two handles only. Pull the window inwards, leaving the upper handles open. To close, push the window using the handles, then turn the handles to the closed position. To open the window fully, release the bottom and the side handle next to the restrictor. Pull the sash open. To close the window, push the sash closed and close the handles fully.